Prince William, the Prince of Wales, has taken on a new military appointment as the Colonel-in-Chief of the Army Air Corps. Hello. Welcome to Royal Diaries. Before we continue please subscribe to the channel for more British Royal Family news. Also, like this video and join our community here at Royal Diaries so you don't miss the latest updates. The ceremony, which took place at the Army Aviation Centre in Middle Wallop, Hampshire, marked the first engagement for William in his new role, and it was a poignant occasion that highlighted the enduring connection between the royal family and the British Armed Forces. Despite the absence of his wife, Kate Middleton, who is currently undergoing treatment for her recent cancer diagnosis, Prince William was the centre of attention. The Princess of Wales was not able to attend the event, but the Army Air Corps personnel ensured that she was not forgotten. They presented the Prince with a special gift, an AAC tartan wrap, as a gesture of appreciation and respect for the Princess. In addition to the thoughtful gift for Kate, the royal couple's three children, Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis, were also honoured with three wooden helicopters, a nod to Prince William's own experience as a Royal Air Force search and rescue pilot. This touching tribute to the family showcased the deep-rooted connection between the military and the House of Windsor. The ceremony was presided over by King Charles who officially handed over the role of Colonel-in-Chief to his son, Prince William. This transition of leadership within the Army Air Corps holds significant meaning, as it represents the ongoing evolution of the royal family's military connections and the passing of the torch to the next generation. The event was chronicled on the official Instagram account of the Prince and Princess of Wales, which shared several photos of King Charles and Prince William during the ceremony. The account also delved into the history of William's past visits to the Army Aviation Centre, highlighting the long-standing relationship between the Prince and the military. The timing of this appointment has sparked some controversy, as it coincides with the recent return of Prince Harry, William's younger brother, to the United Kingdom for the 10th anniversary celebration of the Invictus Games Foundation. Many had speculated that Harry, a former Army Air Corps pilot himself, might have been in line for the title. However, the royal family's decision to bestow the prestigious position on Prince William has raised eyebrows, particularly given the ongoing tensions between the brothers. Despite the potential for further tensions, the ceremony at Middle Wallop served as a poignant reminder of the enduring legacy of the British royal family's military connections. As Prince William takes on this new role, it is clear that he is carrying on a tradition that has long been a cornerstone of the monarchy's relationship with the armed forces. As the event unfolded, it became evident that the royal family's commitment to honouring and supporting the military remained steadfast. The thoughtful gifts presented to the Princess of Wales and her children, as well as the seamless transition of leadership within the Army Air Corps, underscored the deep-rooted bond between the royals and the brave men and women who serve their country. On May 15, 2024, Prince William, the Prince of Wales, took on a significant new military appointment as the Colonel-in-Chief of the prestigious Army Air Corps. This ceremony, which took place at the Army Aviation Centre in Middle Wallop, Hampshire, marked the first official engagement for William in his new role and it was a poignant and symbolic occasion that further highlighted the enduring connection between the British royal family and the nation's armed forces. Despite the unfortunate absence of his wife, Kate Middleton, the Princess of Wales, who was currently undergoing treatment for a recent cancer diagnosis, Prince William remained the undisputed centre of attention throughout the ceremony. While the Princess was unable to attend the event in person, the dedicated personnel of the Army Air Corps ensured that she was not forgotten, presenting the Prince with a special gift, a beautifully crafted AAC tartan wrap, as a heartfelt gesture of appreciation and respect for the future Queen. Adding to the emotional resonance of the day, the royal couple's three children, Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis, were also honoured with their own unique tributes. The Army Air Corps presented the young royals with three exquisitely crafted wooden helicopters, 
a touching nod to Prince William's own distinguished service as a Royal Air Force search and rescue pilot. This thoughtful recognition of the entire Windsor family further underscored the deep-rooted connection between the military and the House of Windsor. The ceremonial proceedings were presided over by King Charles himself, who officially handed over the coveted role of Colonel-in-Chief to his eldest son, Prince William. This transition of leadership within the Army Air Corps held profound significance, as it represented the ongoing evolution of the royal family's military connections and the passing of the torch to the next generation of Windsor leadership. The event was meticulously chronicled on the official Instagram account of the Prince and Princess of Wales, which shared a series of captivating photographs showcasing King Charles and Prince William during the ceremony. The social media account also delved into the rich history of William's past visits to the Army Aviation Centre, further illuminating the long-standing relationship between the Prince and the military. The timing of this appointment has sparked a degree of controversy, as it coincides with the recent return of Prince Harry, William's younger brother, to the United Kingdom for the 10th anniversary celebration of the Invictus Games Foundation. Many had speculated that Harry, a former Army Air Corps pilot himself, might have been a potential candidate for the prestigious title. However, the royal family's decision to bestow the role upon Prince William has raised eyebrows, particularly given the ongoing tensions and rift between the two brothers. Despite the potential for further discord, the ceremony at Middle Wallop served as a poignant reminder of the enduring legacy of the British royal family's deep-rooted military connections. As Prince William takes on this new role, it is clear that he is carrying on a revered tradition that has long been a cornerstone of the monarchy's unwavering support and engagement with the armed forces. The royal family's deep connection to the military was on full display during this recent event. Their unwavering support and reverence for the armed forces continues to be a central part of their public role and duties. The meaningful gifts presented to the Princess of Wales and her children, as well as the smooth handover of leadership within the Army Air Corps, highlighted the profound and unshakable relationship between the royals and the courageous individuals who serve their nation. This event further solidified the royal family's long-standing commitment to honouring and uplifting the military. As the event unfolded, it became increasingly evident that the royal family's steadfast commitment to honouring and supporting the military remains a defining aspect of their public persona and responsibilities. The thoughtful gifts presented to the Princess of Wales and her children, as well as the seamless transition of leadership within the Army Air Corps, underscore the profound and unbreakable bond between the royals and the brave men and women who selflessly serve their country. Thanks for watching till the end. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and join our community for more updates.